I'm Dan Picard with Eastman's Hunting Journals. Today I'm here with my brother Justin. We're going to show you how to do a square lashing. Square lashing can come in handy for several different purposes. Uh, first and foremost is what we use it for is uh, a meat pole in the backcountry. Other uses are a hitching rail at an outfitter's camp or maybe even if you have to repair a corral. You can also use it for uh, uh, emergency shelter. Um, you can use it for furniture, camp chairs. What else can we use a square lashing for? Wall tents. Wall tent, With yeah. The diagonals and the side poles joined together. Yep. Yep, so it's it's a, a must know lashing with that's multi-purpose and um, is very handy and is just as strong, it can be just as strong as steel spikes. I mean, if you do it right. And kind of growing up, Justin was the master at doing lashings really solid, really tight, and so we're gonna show you how to do a square lashing and we're gonna build uh, a meat pole. If, if we're in, in country, we get a bowl down and there's really no good way to, to cool the meat where we want to keep it up in the air and let the, the air cool it down. We'll make a, a makeshift meat pole. And so we'll, we'll find you know, a nice piece of lodge pole. This happens to be one that was dead on the ground, but it's, it's hard and it's um, very sturdy. And this, this will work probably just fine for a meat pole. It's about an inch and a half in diameter. And then you want to find uh, two decently sized trees, uh, you know, However far apart you can fit four quarters of elk in there, this might be a little narrow, but you know five or six feet gap is what we're looking for, and uh, lots of rope. We always like to use uh, parachute cord. You can get paracord pretty much anywhere, any sporting goods store, or Army Navy store, or wherever, and it's always good to have a, a gob of this in your pack. So let's uh, take a look at how to do the square lashing. All right, so we're just gonna start off with a clove hitch. Just make an X, bring the tail in underneath. You can tell it's a clove hitch. Tie it together, then you start out with your wraps. We're coming around the tree, up and over. You pull back around the tree, keeping it snug the whole time. We just follow ourselves around three times. So we've got three wraps, just followed ourselves around, starting off on the pole, around the tree, under the cross piece, back around the tree, back up over the cross piece, and back around the tree. We've got three of those wraps. Now we're gonna come up, we're gonna come in front of the tree, and we're gonna put in what's called a frap. And what this does is it really cinches down the lashing. And this is what gives you your holding strength. We put in three fraps. We'll come back and we'll finish off this time with another clove hitch, bringing it around. But we'll leave this as a slip clove hitch. That way, when we want to save our rope at the end we'll be good to go and if you're worried about it you just throw on a half hitch around your loop there's your square lashing thanks for watching the square lashing video hopefully uh, this will inspire you a little bit to get out there and try it for yourself it's very useful for any backcountry hunter whether you're gonna make a shelter or a meat pole be sure to check out our knot playlist on the Eastman's Hunting Journal's YouTube channel to check out uh, all the different knots that I show you how to tie.